old friends, it's Lunar Fury. Oh man, I have been under the crunch. My good buddy Ruth, that got me into Russian Brothers. Uh, he's, he's been my backer during this whole adventure the past month with the Russian Brothers. He, look, we still, it's one day, one hour. He talked to the leaders and made a deal with them that he would drop down, I guess he dropped down to two, and I would get to take his spot. Now, the stipulations were I had to hit 4K both days or I was pretty much done because, you know, when I first came over, I couldn't do the Cybertronian War. I had, like, virtually no war experience or anything either. And I have been growing leaps and bounds while I've been in Brothers 2 the past two weeks, helping out with the wars that we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in Brothers 2, actually contributing and, and and tied for that top spot on most days with with the other really good guys that are in Brothers too. I got so I come up, I calculated it, and without buying fuel or anything or coin in or anything like that, I should have been able like no losses at all um, with my six teams and the zones they run. I should pull like around. 5,600 points in a day, hitting all my fuel cycles and everything. And it's like a perfect world scenario, correct? And look, let's just look at their scores here. I mean, these guys, and this is for two days. I had somewhere between 3 and 4K with Brothers 2 on that first day before I moved up. So, down we come. I'm near the bottom of the list, of course. But, I hit my 4K. Uh, I, I had some losses earlier this evening before I kind of fell asleep while playing. And luckily it timed out to where it was right at the end of my fuel. And I power napped long enough for the fuel cycle and picked right back up. And everything looked like it was going to be good. Well, then I had like two losses with a couple hours left I was 333 points short and I didn't think I was going to make my goal I was starting to get frustrated and it was just like darn it I should have been able to do this uh, I was getting really frustrated and aggravated and, uh, but then Thankfully, my good buddy, Dr. Clock, is a shout out to Dr. Clock. Go check out his channel. I think I will try to have him and Roof's channel, because Roof does YouTube as well. Uh, I linked in this video in the description, so you guys can go check them out. They're both good buddies of mine. They both make our Earth Wars videos. Uh... Roof got me a deep leak code that gave me 15 fuel. And that popped me up to like 35 fuel, I think. Which I didn't even get to finish burning because my car, I ran out my 16th. But I popped old Big D. I popped Devastator. Bam! Devastator went through. Uh, allowed me to run four teams on 10 instead of just the one. And then I did a, I think a zone seven, a zone nine, and there was my 16th, and I still had some fuel left. Uh, and they just recently, I think, come off a cool down, but it put me over my 4K goal. Now I just got to do it again today. But. I broke the jinx that I had been under since I left Cyberkush and actually did what I said I could do and showed him. I just want to thank Ruth for the opportunity and I want to 
get that three star locked down. I'm so excited. It's gonna be my first three star leaderboard Decepticon. And let me tell you, friends, masks are lucky. They may not like him, but I had a, a ball with four star lockdown on the test server. At ability six, at level 21, he was just wrecking things. So I can only imagine once he gets up higher in level. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping, anyways, that the three star will be a, almost as good. I know it won't be as good, but the two star is nowhere near comparable. But at the three, I think, will be a nice middle ground in between the awesomeness of the four and uh, basically just the collectability of the two. And look at these guys here. They all do an amazing job. Yeah, as you can see, that would put me, uh, I would be somewhere between seven and 8,000 points for the weekend if my Russian Brothers 2 score would have been with Russian Brothers from the get-go. Uh, and that's what, you know, that's what I, I've been doing for months now. And those of you that watch, you know, know that that's what I do, I score in events, so. I'm showing, finally, showing the brothers that I do a score. Could you imagine if I bought fuel bundles and coined everything and coined fuel and my Decepticons are all 50? Oh, man. I could only imagine the points that I could bring in one day. I hope to be able to do that. Before I passed out, we were 40th. I think at one point we even dropped down. To, we were even, not say dropped down, I guess it would be, we bumped up to 39th, I think. But we were hanging around 39, 40th, and then I passed out. It was, it was around... I think it was around 5 or 6 p.m. minus 5 GMT. And the two hours I was out, whenever I noticed again, we had fallen, I think, up into 74th or something. But the brothers were all sleeping as well. And they all started getting up within the hour, within this past hour. And we've already jumped up 10 spots. I, I can't wait. Just got a day to go. That three star lock down. I'm going to go in, my friends, and I will show you a replay of the busters with Devastator. That way, there's the B team Galvatron. Devastator is three star in level five. So I haven't been getting really any character bundles or premium crystals or anything here lately. I think Star Scream was really the last thing I'd done. And, uh, and that's been about a month now, I think. Uh, so I haven't really got any Constructicon dupes or even Combaticon dupes. I just didn't have it in the budget to get those bundles for the Spark. Yeah. Here we go. I start out, you know, I drop my air units. I try to take out all mortars, beams, and the missile that I can with my points. And then, as they're flying back in from their last runs, I, I drop the rest of the team. And, uh, and then we go to town. But the only difference here is I brought in Devastator for added security. And so I could bump up them zone nines up into ten like I'm running the busters for a little bit of extra points. Oh, and here he comes. 
Mm, there goes that chest plate thing. I run up here. I was like, smash. Is that side swipe, I think? I think it's side swipe. It's, I'm pretty sure the red that I just took down. And then I was like, I don't have time for you, Prime. I gotta get these beams down. And of course, the AI on the combiner always defaults to, well, the AI on any of them default to a defender bot that's up. So, of course, he turned and started messing with Prime. Then the busters come back in. Bam. That was really the biggest thing was that shock. And look, me Grimlock it just popped up. But, as you can see here, friends, me Grimlock died. He's dead. And then, we're just kind of just ramping the base up. I think the only thing of consequence is that missile turret, which they have, you know, got hit up behind the HQ. So many people hide things up behind the HQ. They think, oh, they don't see it. That's the first thing I do as I go, I see what the HQ is. Especially here lately, I'd stopped doing that. I've grown complacent in Cyberkush. And now that I'm in the competitive group of the brothers, you know, I'm starting to do my stuff that I used to do. So I'm, I check all the defense levels, check the HQ. Yeah, I go in, I check that HQ, and then I move the camera around so I can see all around it, make sure they don't have any mortars, beams, or missile launchers hid behind them. I'll show you Galvatron's team, my B team, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video, my friends, and I'll get it edited and uploaded here shortly. I do have to run out my fuel here with my cons so once I end this and then I'll get to work and get this uploaded for you all to see and I see I had a defeat two hours ago and it, it started to bum me out I was like darn it I, I could not afford that just look it is the P team. Look, look at my three star Razor call. His power is 666. Kind of freaking if you're superstitious or religious or whatnot. But me, he's Razor Claw. Razor Claw's Razor Claw. Don't matter if his power is the mark of the beast or not. Because he's a beast in the game. Of course, here they all come. Look at look at Razor Claw. He just went running around the wall, and I just I went ahead and send him up to the mortar, and then I did my dive bomb slipstream combo on that mortar. It messed up everything around it. Took some stuff with it. About took the the shock and the beam with it and then I was like okay let's get Devastator out big D as I call it look and here we got uh, hot spot iron hide rust dust or the other one I don't like I said they're all their collars are flopped they're part of Victorian one's rust dust I don't know the other one's name they're both little tankies now, I'm starting to get a little impatient. I'm like, come on, just stomp out Ironhide. You got the other two. Let's get on with it. But he got him. Ironhide is kind of a tank as well. In fact, I think all three of them were tanks for the Autobots. You know, we got some ACs down there. Bam. Devastator falls over. He's done his job. I had shot Death Source up to that missile launcher. And he's took it out, and now he's up in position to finish off the HQ. And then I was like, oh man, he's getting pounded by that mortar. Is that Galvatron? Cannon. And all that was gone. Now they're all up on the HQ. And it's bam. 
the shockwave was going down the hill on the slot because for some reason he was doing his own thing. And there you have it, Brant. Another mega victory. I'm just oh tickled to death. Gonna get our first three-star leader bot as soon as this event ends. Um, Buddy Roof is just the greatest. And Dr. Clock, thanks for the deep link. 62, look, we've already gone up two. Well, I've been babbling on to you. And here's at least, and these guys are all doing pretty good. All scoring very, very great. And Roof had, was score, did really great. That was his day one score. 5,072. There's my day two score combined with it was somewhere between three and four thousand day one. So I would be up there. And Brinch hasn't done anything. I don't know what the deal with that is. But if I didn't do the 4K, I was in a world of hurt. I did what was expected of me. And most of these people that have left were they probably went to help others or they didn't perform so they were let go. Lockdown's one of the officers so he's probably gone down to either two or three to help them. Like I'm assuming Roof did, so I could come up. Okay, let's see. Uh, so I would be somewhere between 32nd and 24th. I'd be in through there if my day one points from Brothers 2 and with Brothers Main from the get go. But, uh, that's awesome. Gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm just so excited. I'll bring you some more content as soon as I can. I've got an overview on four star lockdown from the test that I did on Friday. It's like level 20 stats and then pop this 30 cap 21 stats with ability 6. I just got to get it up and published. Uh, I think I've got a few other little videos as well. Just I've been really focusing on this leaderboard event. That's why I haven't streamed any. I won't have any streams coming out. Because it's just all business friends with this leaderboard. So, unfortunately, once every two to three months when we've got these leaderboard events, I won't have my streams going until... I'm just comfortable wrecking it in the leaderboards while I stream. Until I can get to that point, though, on the serious deal leaderboard events, probably won't have streams going on. At least for this one. Maybe by the time, maybe in the two to three months when the next leaderboard event happens, maybe I'll be to where I think I can handle the streaming and doing my business. Catch you guys here later. Stay classy. Be good to one another. Stay subbed if you are. If you're not, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Uh, take friends, have them do the same. I'll catch you guys later. You've been busted. Three-star lockdown coming my way. Oh, yeah.